So one thing that everybody's been wanting to do with me, Journey, is put their face on an image. And it has been impossible until now, but some very smart people thought of a way to do it. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can take your face or somebody else's face and put it on an image in, with Mid Journey. Now I'm gonna remove my face and I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so once you're in Discord, you will need to create a new server. This is the first thing we're going to do. And you'll go here on the left hand side and click on the plus button. And this will allow you to create your own server. This is completely free. So go ahead, click on create my own server and then click for me and my friends. That's all you can name your server. I'm just going to name it as a test server because I'm only going to use it for this tutorial. And that's it. The next thing we need to do is invite the mid journey bot and invite the inside face bot. With mid journey, you can either go to your own channel. If you have your own channel, you can click on the mid journey bot and invite it that way. Otherwise, just go to the mid journey community and find, go to one of the newbie rooms. That will be the easiest. And then click on the mid journey bot when you find it and click add to server. Then it will ask you which server you want to add it to because you might have more than one server. And this is the one I just created and I'm going to add it into my server. It will ask me to authorize and make sure that I'm human. There you go. Yes, I'm human. And that's it. We've authorized mid journey into our brand new server, which is right here. The next thing we want to do is uh, I will put this link in the description below. So just click on the link in the description and this will set up the inside face bot. Uh, again, it will ask you which server you want to add it to. Click on the server you just created. Continue. Again, it will ask you to authorize and ask you if you are a human. And that's it, basically. Now we're going to go back. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go into my Discord channel. And now, if you have a look here on the right hand side, I've got myself, the Mid Journey bot, and the Inside Face Swap bot. The next thing to do is to upload an image of yourself or of somebody else that you want to use. In my case, I downloaded this picture from Pexels, the girl in the yellow jacket, and I'm going to use her as my uh, reference. So all you have to do is start typing backslash backstroke save, and this will pull up the command save ID, click on ID name, and this will prompt you to upload an image. I'm going to uh, open this image and then you have to give that ID a name. You can only use one name and it, I cannot remember how many characters you can use, but um, yeah, try to keep them short. So I'm only going to say yellow because that's easy to remember. And that's it. Now I have my name set. The next thing you can do is create an image in mid journey or upload one. Uh, a lot of people want to uh, swap their images with their favorite superhero characters or movie characters. So I decided to do something similar with uh, my girl. I'm going to create an image of Wonder Woman and then swap Wonder Woman's face with my girl in the yellow jacket face. And to do this, we need to use the general imagine uh, prompt for mid journey. And all I said is create a portrait of Wonder Woman fashion photography. That's all. Okay, now that we have our Wonder Woman created by mid journey, we'll have to upscale it. And let's have a look. Um, I like number one and number three, and I'm going to upscale both of them and see 
what happens when I swap the faces. Okay, once the images are upscaled, all you need to do is right click on an image, find where it says apps, highlight it, and then go to the right and click on in swapper. This is all you have to do. And I'm going to do to do it for both of them. And it, it swaps pretty, pretty quickly. As you can see, the first one is ready and we're just waiting for the second one. They're ready as well. So let's open them in a browser and see how they perform. So here's my girl in the yellow jacket and here's her as Wonder Woman. As you can see, it's a pretty good likeness. It's not one on one to one, like it's not completely 100%. But we're getting there. It is much better than what it was before. Let's have a look at the other one. Here is this one. And here's my girl again. Very good. I like them quite a bit. Okay, let's do another one. Another character that I really like is Lara Croft. So let's create a Lara Croft image and see how that image performs with our girl in the yellow jacket. Okay, now we have Lara Croft. Unfortunately, Mid Journey always creates the new Lara Croft and not Angelina Jolie. And I'm a huge fan of Angelina Jolie as, as Lara Croft. But let's go with this one. Let's try number one and number two. So I'm going to upscale number one and number two. And again, I'm going to right click highlight apps and click in swapper for both of them and we'll see what results we get okay i've got the first one i'm going to open her in uh in my browser and this is her this is my girl mm, a little bit different not as good not as good as wonder woman i think wonder woman was incredible not as good but still it's a it's a likeness and I think the second one will come up better here's the second one yeah I think it's actually better yeah definitely better so um there you go you can now put your face or somebody else's face on your favorite character or on any other photo that you decide to use. So now before you go and play with the bots and swap your face with your favorite characters, let me walk you through a few commands that you need to know. There are not many, there are only five or six and I've got them right here so I don't forget any of them. So the very first one is save ID and we've already used it. This is where you upload your image and set your ID name and you can upload up to 10. The next one, is set ID. If you have more than one ID names, you can use this command to swap between different names or to set multiple names. For example, if you want to have uh, two images that are swapping with two others, you will have to set the ID for the two images separated by comma, no space. The next one is swap ID. Swap ID is used if you want to use a different image or a different photo and swap it for the same ID. The next one is list ID and this will list all the IDs you have because sometimes if you have 10 and you want to use one you may not remember the name. So list ID is very very useful. The next one is Dell ID and Dell ID will allow you to delete one ID or if you want to delete your whole list, you will use the command uh, Dell all. That's it. There's no more commands. They're super easy. Go play, come back, tell me about your results and I would love to see some of your results.